Hello and welcome to this first video in the Python from the Ground Up series. We are going to be looking throughout the series at how to program using Python, starting off with the absolute basics and working our way through uh, some simple text-based games all the way up to a full graphical game by the end of it. Um, so obviously this is issue zero if you like this is the the very first thing just making sure that everything is set up throughout the course of this series I'm going to be using PyCharm as an IDE obviously you're welcome to use whatever IDE you want um, but if you're wanting to follow along uh, easily PyCharm uh, is is the way to go um, it's available for free um, and it is available on uh, Windows, Mac and Linux so you shouldn't have any uh, problems getting it installed okay so without further ado let us commence our journey so the first thing we need to do is actually download Python and download um, PyCharm okay so uh, if I just bring up my web browser here okay um, so what we are going to do first of all is go to python.org python.org here we go okay this will take you to the website where you can acquire Python um, now there's two versions of Python there is the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version uh, it's highly likely that you are running a 64-bit OS you probably know whether you are running 64-bit or 32-bit uh, but if you're not sure what you need to do is run dxdiag if you are on Windows. Uh, I'm, I'm going to assume that if you're running Linux, uh, you are savvy enough to know whether you're running a 64-bit or 32-bit flavor. Um, on Windows, go to the uh, Start menu and type in dxdiag. Uh, if I just show you... Uh, DX Diag, that is what you want to uh, to type in, and it should pop up a box that looks something like this. Okay, so we have a, a little bit of information about the computer. You can see uh, I am using Windows 8.1. I'm not a massive Windows user. This is not my main uh, operating system, um, but you can see it is the 64-bit version. Okay, so I know that I need to get the 64-bit uh, version of Python. Okay, so just going back to the web browser, I can go to the downloads, find your operating system of choice. Um, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using Windows. You can see all of these different releases for Windows. Um, you want to download the latest Python release, Python 3.2. 7.0 is uh, the latest release at time of writing or time of recording um, so there are if you scroll down to the files section there's a whole bunch of files that you can that you can grab I am going to download the x86 64 executable installer if you are running a 32-bit operating system you will need to download the x86 installer okay so I'm going to click on that it has popped up a message saying do you want to save the file yes I want to save the file okay so that's just going to download happily there it has finished downloading uh, so now I'm gonna open the installer okay so I am just going to uh, show you what it looks like on my desktop here you can see I've got my install Python 3.7.0 64-bit um, just click on install now okay uh, do you want the to allow the program to make changes to this computer yes you do okay so oh, it's just disappeared now uh, let's see if I can bring that back no I can't okay so you are not going to be able to see this wonderful progress as it installs okay so once it has finished installing it should say setup was successful and you can close that once you have installed Python the next thing that you need to do is install PyCharm okay so we're gonna go back to Google or DuckDuckGo or whatever search engine you use search for PyCharm 
uh, and it should take you to a website uh, www.jetbrains.com forward slash pie charm uh, it's the first thing in my list of search results here okay there it is so all you need to do now is click download now okay when you click on download now it will take you to this page do you want the professional version or the community version uh, obviously you want the community version unless you're made of money and you want to pay for the professional version uh, but at this stage no okay so I'm going to download the community version you have chosen to open PyCharm community blah 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 would you like to save this file yes I want to save this file so now the PyCharm community version is happily downloading um, now some of you might be thinking why is he telling us how to install software we know how to do that yes uh, you'd be surprised how many people do not know how to install um, software uh, I'm just making sure that you get the uh, uh, the right file so now it has finished downloading I am going to run the PyCharm community installer uh, do you want to allow the program to make changes to this computer? Yes, I do. Okay, so hopefully we should be able to see this in the uh, desktop window, except we can't. Um, let me just see if I can fix this. Okay, um, so it says, welcome to the PyCharm Community Edition setup. Um, just click on next, choose where you want to install it. I'm just using the default. Uh, you will get a window. Um, you know what, let's see if I can get a capture of this window here. there we go okay not all is lost you get a window that looks like this uh, again you can choose to install both the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version um, you can also choose to associate Python files with uh, PyCharm so when you double click them instead of just instantly running under Python they will open in PyCharm so that's what I'm going to do here I'm going to create a uh, shortcut to the 64-bit launcher um, you might already have an installation of uh, Java um, I am going to leave that unchecked if you run into issues you might need to check that okay but let's go next uh, choose start menu folder I uh, hate Windows so I'm not gonna bother with this there we go so now it's installing PyCharm for me and um, once that's installed you should be ready to go okay I'm gonna run my PyCharm install uh, just to show you how to create a new project um, and what everything means and then we will get on to um, the next episode which is gonna be the absolute basics of Python okay so it's finished installing I can run PyCharm community edition now so I'm just going to run that okay uh, you will get a uh, privacy policy notice just click scroll to the bottom uh, and then click on accept um, I choose not to allow data sharing so I'm gonna click no there um, when you first run PyCharm um, you should get something that looks like this you get something that looks kind of like this um, you can select whether you want a light theme or a dark theme uh, I find dark themes easier on the eyes um, but in my classroom I usually use a light theme because it's easier for everybody uh, to see from a distance so uh, up to you what you want to do uh, what's next um, there's a whole bunch of stuff here I'm not going to bother with any of this I'm just gonna click on start using PyCharm 
Okay, now the first thing uh, that appears is this welcome to PyCharm window. Okay, you have the option to open an existing product or a project even or create a new project. So I'm going to click on create new project. It's going to ask me where I want to to, uh, uh, to store that project. Okay, now at school chances are you do not have right access to the C drive and if you do then you won't be able to access files stored on the C drive from a different machine so you need to make sure that this is set up to the network drive uh, where you can access your files okay um, I'm gonna leave this as the default but I am gonna change the title of my project to Python from the ground uh, from the ground from the ground God I can't spell today ground up okay um, you have this option here, Project Interpreter. Do you want to use a virtual environment or uh, the existing interpreter? Okay, uh, I am going to use a uh, virtual environment. A virtual environment will copy the um, resident Python interpreter into your project folder so you can then install additional modules without needing uh, admin access which is a very very useful tool so I'm going to select a virtual environment um, the default should have picked up your uh, Python install you can see here it's picked up my uh, Python 3.7 here I'm also going to click make available to all projects so that uh, if I create a new project it will still use that same virtual environment okay uh, and I'm going to inherit global site packages as well so click on create it will take a little while um, to get all of that um, sorted um, so if you just bear with me here while I resize my uh, my window okay fantastic on-the-fly editing right here so uh, when it opens you should get something that looks kind of like this okay uh, now obviously I've, uh, I've I've resized mine so that it fits in the window nicely um, we've created a project if I click here you can see the virtual environment has been set up okay you don't really need to know what that is uh, just yet. First thing that we're going to do is create a new uh, Python file just to make sure that everything's up and running as it should be. If I right click on um, the name of the project and select new, select Python file, you can't see it because the, uh, the, the menus are hidden on my screen recorder which is which is a pain so I'm selecting new and Python file I might have to uh, fix that somehow. I'm gonna give it a name I'm gonna call it hello and you can see it has now created my program so I'm not going to carry on in this video I'm going to carry on in the next video but just to let you know on the left hand side here this is where all of your project files are going to appear you can see there my project file hello is there uh, this here is where you type in your code okay and then when you run your programs down the bottom is where you will see your output okay so this is the uh, system that we are going to be using uh, throughout this whole um, course um, if you're using a different IDE that's fine as long as you know how to create files how to um, run those files um, and everything else in there you should get on no problem but we are going to be using PyCharm. Okay, that's that. Now you should be able to go and get Python uh, installed and get PyCharm installed uh, and if you copy out the code that I have put in here um, and press Control Shift F10 Control Shift F10 uh, to run the um, the code it will appear down the bottom here hopefully free of errors and um, there you go you've written your first Python program 
Um, so we shall continue this in the next episode where we look at basic variables and data types.